Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm Brittany and today we are exploring the largest gas station in America and that is Bucky's. I love Bucky's. No, I love Bucky's. I love Bucky's more. <laughs> early so we could have some breakfast. My favorite item at Bucky's is actually one of their breakfast items. In this video we are going to be covering what is the hype with Bucky's and is it worth it for you to stop on your next road trip whenever you're passing one. Now there's a lot of hype about this whether you've heard about their food, their clean restrooms, the chaos that is getting in and out of this place or the sheer amount of gas pumps that they have. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it. Now we got enough food to feed probably a family of four for around $26. Don't worry, nothing will go to waste. We brought a cooler with us and we're going to try some of the things. Some things I've tried, some things I haven't tried and we're going to stick around to try their lunch stuff also. Just want to thank you guys for helping me reach 100 subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing if you haven't and you've seen my videos before. Let's have some breakfast. Okay, so we're at the Bucky's in Daytona and it's about 90 degrees outside, give or take a few. <laughs> so it is hot. So forgive the car shots, but it's just simply too hot to stand outside. Also, thanks to Brad for joining me today because we're celebrating 100 subscribers, so he thought he'd tag along. <laughs> also, he's actually never been to Bucky's for breakfast, and I think that's the best part. So here we are. Um, first, though, you gotta try the coffee. I have had Bucky's coffees, but I can't remember how it is. You can get such a giant coffee here, you guys, and the station has like everything you could ever possibly want in your coffee even though just recently they've changed over from having like all the international delights creamers to just having syrup and then regular milk so something to kind of note i guess maybe they couldn't keep up having all the different varieties i don't know maybe they lost their partnership that's always a possibility too but regardless with all the syrups that they have and the milk, you're sure to like fix up your coffee the way that you want it. This was a steal. It was like a dollar nineteen for this medium cup of coffee. So, you know, can't compete. It's pretty good. It's a little thin, a little watery. Uh, needs like some heavier creamer slash milk in it. I'd maybe go with like whole milk on this one. But the flavor's good. You can really taste the pecan syrup that I put in it. We're going to start with my favorite thing, which is the brisket egg taco. Now, if you get nothing else here at Bucky's, I suggest that you get the brisket egg taco. I'm not crazy about the brisket sandwich. Maybe, maybe not. We'll grab it for lunch. I've had it. I'll talk about it whenever it gets time. But, spoiler, I'm not that big of a fan. But, the brisket egg taco is where it's at. All it is, is just tortilla and brisket and egg. So the one problem with the brisket egg taco is that it's kind of expensive. $5.99 for this little taco. And on a typical breakfast, I could probably eat two of them. So just kind of something to note. Brad's not crazy about anything in wrap form, but I'll go ahead and have him try it while I try something new, the bacon egg cheese taco. And this one is only $3.99. So they know that that brisket is the way to go. Oh, I do like that though. It was pretty good. Yeah. 
brisket taco, you guys. The eggs are Becky's. I think are what actually make it. They're so light and fluffy. Better than any fast food egg I've ever had, period. And they're actually seasoned. They do have salsa that you can grab at the register if you want salsa with your tacos. And it's pretty good. Moving on, we have beaver tots, which I don't think I've tried. They're just a tater tot with the typical seasoning that they put on the Bucky's potato chips. So, I've never met a tot I didn't like. These are solid even though they're cold. Breakfast at Bucky's is served from 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. They do start putting out breakfast around 10 a.m. And so they slim back the breakfast options. So you might have to wait if you want breakfast between like 10 and 11. All right. So this is the last savory option that I got for breakfast. And this is the sausage egg cheese biscuit. And I haven't tried a biscuit from Bucky's yet. This is uh, $3.99. I think that's a fair price. I mean, where are you going to go fast food wise and get a sandwich cheaper than $3.99. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if it's the sausage or the biscuit that's pretty dense, but this feels, this feels weighty. This is big. This is my hand this is a sandwich. Sandwich hand. It's big. It's pretty big. But the biscuit looks flaky. Definitely reminds me of almost like a Hardee's biscuit. Tons of cheese on this. Just from the smell of it, I think it's definitely like almost like a Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage patty. It kind of has that that smell to it. If you know, you know. Okay, definitely Jimmy Dean's breakfast patty. The biscuit is so light and fluffy. Even though it's been sitting up on that bar. So, so light. That biscuit is a 10 out of 10. I wish they just sold the biscuits. Maybe closer to breakfast they actually do just sell the biscuits if they do get a biscuit and biscuit is amazing cheese sausage a you really can't go wrong but it's very very crumbly because of the biscuit so i do not recommend this if you are a driver in a car you're going to have this everywhere so this would normally be probably brad's like go-to so would you would you get that i i really like it i think it's actually really good there you go yeah recommended okay so now on to the pastries they have a little bit of everything so i just grabbed a couple options i can't try everything if you want to see me try everything let me know in the comments below and i will over the course of some more videos but there will be some shorts coming up so make sure you subscribe to see those i'm going to pick up the top five most advertised items for Bucky's and also I'm going to pick up some odd items that I see and try those but right now I have a scone that is a questionable looking scone there's no doubt and there's icing over the top which isn't particularly common but we're gonna give it a shot it is definitely too cakey guys for sure. This is definitely um, not a scone from across the pond, but we shall try it anyway. That is a tasty, crispy biscuit, <laughs> but that is not a scone. I'm pretty sure, not speaking for the Brits, but I'm pretty sure they would be offended by this. Brad loves blueberry, so I'm sure he's fine with it. I do like the flavor of it. Yeah, crispy, cakey muffin. <laughs> All right, and then I got something else that you can only get here. It is a beaver tail. It is also as big as my head. <laughs> All right. Uh, no idea what this is. Looks like puff pastry with some cinnamon swirl and icing on top is what I would say. It's, uh, ooh, that is some good crunchy stuff. Okay, you good luck with that without getting all messy. Oh, that is tasty. I could have got a cinnamon roll, but you can get a cinnamon roll anywhere. This is what cinnamon rolls almost should be. I almost like this better. It's like really light, but it still tastes like a cinnamon roll. I actually really like this. I would highly recommend if you're at a Bucky's, you try the beaver tail. 
This was only $3.49, and I actually really like it. Do you like it? I think it's pretty good. I think it's very sweet, though. Mmm. No complaints here. Mmm. <laughs> I do want to apologize for the complete change in scenery. We have been moving around. This place is packed. Any Bucky's that you go to will be packed. So just be prepared that there are people everywhere. Everyone wants to be here, as do you. So tread with patience if you try to visit one. All right, so that concludes breakfast. Let's see what other trouble we can get into. Besides the incredible selection of home products that Bucky's has, they also have a lot of really strange specialty food items. Right now I'm standing in front of a couple rows of flavored salt. Like I've never seen beer salt before. It's like lime flavored salt for your beer and cocktails. Really, really strange. They also have Paloma flavored salt. I mean, I love the occasional Paloma. Maybe I should pick this up. If you're looking for it, Bucky's has it though. They have <laughs> pickled quail eggs. They have an amazing amount of jerky. I counted 12 different kinds of jerky back behind me. That's a lot of jerky. Now the shopping here at Bucky's ranges from cheap gas station Chotsky fest to like high-end boutique feel. There's a lot of southern charm in like a lot of the things that they curate here, including this whole kitchen selection. I mean, look how cute this like salt and pepper container set is. Super, super cute. And they have like the matching set so you could get all your kitchenware here at Bucky's. If you're passing through on your road trip this December, why not shop here for your Christmas presents? Name another place in America where cowhide rugs are sold next to seashells. It'd be fun to be a buyer for this place. So you might be wanting some more information about Bucky's. It was actually originally opened in 1982 and most of the largest ones are actually in Texas. The largest one is actually 66,000 square feet. That's about one and a half acres, give or take, just to give you some perspective. Now, as you see, they have everything. They have shopping, they have food, and they have the cleanest restrooms. The restrooms are huge, both for the women and the men. They are spotlessly clean. Bucky's actually held a contest for the cleanest bathrooms and they won. Surprise, surprise. So they have kiosks you can order from for lunch, but they also have plenty of grab and go items also. They glaze nuts here all day long, so it always smells incredible in here. Thanks to the power of editing, it is now lunchtime, and I got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, first, I've never tried this, but it's sausage on a stick with a tortilla. I have no idea if this is breakfast sausage, if this is smoked sausage. I really don't know. There's not very much info about this and I've always wanted to try it. So here we go. First up, yeah, this was so expensive. I mean, $7.50. This is a meal, but that just seems a lot for what this is. So this is smoked sausage with a tortilla wrapped around it. It's interesting. I probably just want to try it because he's not much on like sausage things things and casings um this it's actually pretty good i really enjoy smoked sausage if you like that sort of thing get this get a package of mustard go to town it's actually pretty good i i can't actually bad mouth it too much i'd probably get it again surprisingly round two is what everyone talks about 
the chopped brisket sandwich. Now it's $8.50. So guys, lunch is a lot more expensive than breakfast was. Altogether, we probably got enough stuff once again to feed a family of four and it was $38. Kind of a lot. You could go and do a sit down for that. Now, spoiler, I've tried this before. I will try it again just so I am reminded. But as you probably heard maybe on the internet, their barbecue sauce, it's trash. It's way too sweet. It just, it doesn't taste good. And a lot of people don't like it. I'm not of a minority. There's, the majority of people do not like the barbecue sauce. I don't understand why they just don't give you a brisket sandwich without barbecue sauce on it. Because the brisket is top notch here. So it's fine, but it's just a little lackluster. That's why I have a hack for you. Bucky's Cajun seasoning. It's fantastic and it'll take away the sweetness of the sandwich. If you want a barbecue sandwich and they have turkey and pork besides brisket, but they're known for their brisket and I think the brisket is the best out of all the meats that they have there. So you're just going to sprinkle, you could open up your bun or you just sprinkle a little bit over the top as you could kind of take bites more or less depending on how like spicy you want it. And it's totally going to take that sweetness away and give it just a little bit more depth. Might put just a little bit too much on, but it's okay. Still better. I did something that I don't normally do and that's order food. Now you can get grab and go stuff, but I got the chicken strip lunch and it came with gravy. So that's awesome. You know, you're in the South. It looks pretty good. Uh, definitely kind of interested to try it. I always just do the quick grab items. I never get items that you like order at the counter. So I, I will say it came out very, very quickly. So if you're worried about time, don't be. It really was ready almost instantaneously. The gravy is good. Tastes exactly like Dairy Queen gravy. Chicken strip is less than mediocre. I definitely wouldn't get it. Maybe I'd feed it to a kid, but I definitely wouldn't order these again. I think they're just like lacking spice. Nothing special. Let's try a french fry. French fries are sad. They need salt. They're also a little bit soggy. I mean, not completely fair because they've been sitting in this container for a little bit, but not great. I wouldn't order any of this again, except for the gravy. The gravy is good. Do you agree? I'd agree. Okay. I think it's good gravy. We got done with savory items before the camera decided to overheat, but I bought a couple of sweet. First, you can't go to Bucky's without walking out with nuts. They just smell so good. This time I got pecans. Do you say pecans or do you say pecans? Is it pecans? Pecan. Pecan. Do you say pecan or pecan? You can't go wrong with roasted nuts. Also, these are a great deal. Four fifty. That's less than what you would pay at like a fair for them. So pretty good deal. The final thing we're gonna try for the lunch is for two ninety nine we got the cookie dough chocolate chip bites. They come in a cute little cup. They're not as sticky as what you would think. So don't be too afraid to eat these in the car or give them to your children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's solid. A lot of times without the egg, they're kind of weird. But this is a solid edible cookie dough. I would eat these. And I think for $2.99, I think this is a good deal. Okay, so Bucky's is hitting it out of the park with the desserts. If you don't want these, you want something a little healthier, then they have cups of fruit and cups of pudding. The cups of pudding are very popular. It was very hard getting footage of the cups of pudding because everybody was fighting over it. Stop in for Bucky's for some dessert. We can't really go wrong, it doesn't seem like. Okay, now that we're full, it's time to fill our tank. I really want to thank you for joining me on this trip to Bucky's. I have to say, I totally get the hype. I really got to explore it this time and it totally won me over. I'll definitely be stopping here on my next road trip. And I think you should too, especially for that breakfast and the desserts.
I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.